why you should speak to your dry bones. Every waking up day, we experience situations we call setbacks or situations gone beyond redemption. We have financial challenges we cannot even fathom how we got into it. Dry bones could be a health challenge that keeps us having to consistently visit the hospital or a reason to be worried. For a Christian, it can be a bit easy to find a base to believe a turnaround is possible. That's because of our faith in the spoken word of God. But many literally wake up every day seeing their situation deteriorate and their only response is tearing. The truth is, life throws things at us like a true darkness on the surface of the earth in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. The Berean Study Bible says, Now the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the water. But God did not keep quiet and allowed darkness to have its course. He spoke, saying, Let there be light, and there was light. In Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2, this reveals gross darkness shall cover the earth and just like it has been prophesied now we have that prophecy in fulfillment in our day and in our time our economy is dark and what does that imply individuals will struggle to get a job and many have been conditioned to believe they can never get a job the moment they cross a particular age bracket in 2011 i remember the first day i got my first salary job it was on a wednesday and i was in the church so joyful in my spirit giving glory to god suddenly i heard the pastor say we will give you a job at 30 and i said to myself another reason you cannot run with the word of your pastor i am a living testimony i'm a living witness that miracle can still happen no matter the odds that are against you our health system is dark there are types of diseases condition you hear and you know the possibility of survival is zero these are like death sentences our political system is dark and it is hard to believe we can still have sincere politicians in even in that space and the closest one to us our circle of influence could also be dark depending on whom or what you surround yourself with we will always have those individuals in our offices in, um, among our friends that will never see anything good in every step you take they always have something to complain about the environment the government or the world system literally and i cannot but pity those who still visit the newspaper stand every day I remember when I used to pick up Tuesday Guardians looking for job opportunities I could apply for. I spent money buying those papers and applied for jobs that never even got me any interview. And each time I visited, I would always hear people argue about things that drains me of the little strength I had left. So I christened the stand, the death stand. Each time you visit and hear those deteriorating arguments, it kills your faith. You also have friends that visit and all they have to say to you is constantly give you the news that weakens your faith. When you hear about a suicide, anytime you hear about a suicide case, it only reveals another individual who just gave up on his or her hope. When people are hopeful, they see light in what lies ahead. But when they are hopeless, then they give up on everything. And that's why you see that they lose the taste of eating, taste of fellowshipping, and taste of even being around people. Taste of even doing something productive about their life because they've lost hope. And many more will get disappointed this day because the world is getting darker. When the object of their hope is not Christ, when the reason you think your better days are close is an uncle, I mean parent or a particular government or a particular system. People had files on the table of some of our past presidents who died in the office. First Corinthians 15 19 says, the Berean the Bible also, if our hope in Christ is for this life alone, we are to be pitied more than all men. But God be praised because our hope is in the maker of heaven and the earth, the one that rules and reigns in the affairs of men. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 13 to 15. The new American Standard Bible reveals. It says, No, is it beyond the sea that you could see? Who will cross the sea for us and get it for us and proclaim it to us so that we may follow it? On the contrary, the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may follow it. Verse 15 says, See, I have placed before you today life, happiness, and death and adversity. And a whole lot of individuals do not know what they see in the natural, in their lives, began in the spiritual. And so, and they daily 
consent to their deteriorating situation by not saying anything to change what they don't want to what they want and that is why you see that things happen in their life because things have been fixed and set in the spiritual realm because nobody is talking concerning that particular situation mark chapter 11 verse 23 variance of the bible also says truly i tell you that if anyone say to this mountain be lifted up and thrown into the sea and has no doubt in his heart but believes that it will happen it will be done for him when you begin to see light in your darkness you can turn around your life by speaking the right word the written word that can break any form of barrier or change policies to favor the god's good thoughts concerning you hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 brilliant study bible again for the word of god is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword penetrating even as far as the division of soul and spirit and of joint and marrow and able to judge the thought and intention of the heart. What do you say? What do you say to your situation? In Ezekiel chapter 37, God woke up the prophet to a hard reality of his numerous years working with God. He didn't see a possibility in this particular situation, but he knew God could. Since he created the organ that is failing anyway. God created you. God created the financial system that is probably failing in your life. And so God can turn around any form of situations if only he can say something. Galbath 3 also says, And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord, thou knowest. Though God could do it by some form of strange power, but God told the prophet Ezekiel, Say so their hope, the hope of those dry bones, the hope of your life, the hope of your environment, the hope of your situation is in thy mouth. Prophesy. You can see that in verse 4. Are you still there? Yes, you. Can you just change your focus from the news to the word? For faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's what Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says. I have seen individuals taking the word of God like daily pills and sit and their situations turn around their health situation has turned around their financial situations has turned around their job their challenges their pain their sorrow has turned to joy because they daily look at the world looking at the world means your hope and your trust is in the living god at the beginning of every year i see and i say to myself my year will end well and i do not change my confession when things appear contrarily it works. The word of God works and it will always work. Begin to speak the word of truth, the word of life, the word of power, the word of joy, the word of faith, the word of grace, the word of beauty, even into your life consistently and see what God can do in your life. God bless you. Real good. The name is Kudra Apana.